block rearrangement problem. So, you are going to discuss this is a very classical problem. So, now the problem states that the problem is to find a plan for rearranging a stack of blocks as shown in the figure and we are only allowed to move one block at a time. That is our constraint number one. At a time only one block can be moved. A block can be grasped only when its top is clear. So, if you consider this respective figure, then in that case only the C block can be grasped here because C is having the top clear not A not B because they are not having the top clear. A block can be put on table or on some other block as when required. So, I can put one block on the table or on the another block obviously if that block is having the top clear. So, now to find a required plan we have to find a sequence of moves that accomplish the given transformation. So, here we are considering this one as initial state and here we are having this final state. So, here these blocks are arranged in this way, here these blocks are arranged in this way that is the final state we require here. So, this final state can also be expressed in this way that is on A B, A is on B, on B C, B is on C and on C table, C is on table. So, this final state can be depicted in this way also. Now, let us go for a graphical representation of the block manipulation problem. So, here we are having the state transition diagram. Let us consider this respective state. Here we are having this C as the top, then B, then A. Then the next transition can only be we can put this C on the table and B will have the top clear and A will be on table having B at the top. So, in this way we are having the straight transition diagram. So, what about the final state we were asking for is this one that means A will be at the top, next B will be there, next C will be there and C will be on the table. So, this is our goal state. If you consider this is the our initial state if you consider then this is the respective path which has been shown with the bold. So, this is the respective path with the help of which we should have our transitions so that I can reach to this goal state here. The indicated path is a solution to the problem from one initial state to the goal state. So, let us go for one practical demonstration of this respective problem where we shall implement the same problem in prolog coding and we shall show you that how the code will execute and how the outputs will be obtained. So, here is a demonstration for you. In this problem, we are having three blocks and they are labeled as A, B and C and there is one table on which the blocks are situated. Okay. One block can be also put on another block if the top of those two blocks must be free or clear. Let us suppose initially A is on the table, B is on A and C is on B and our target is that C will remain on table, B will be on the top of C and A will be on the top of B. So, that is our final state and let us suppose it is our initial state. So, we are suggesting that what are the intermediate moves required so that from the initial state we can have a transition to the final state. We know that a block A can be put on block B if block A top is clear as well as block B top is clear. So, that is a very essential condition. So, now let me show you that how this program is getting executed and then we shall go for the code explanation. So, initially I am just doing do on A table. So, A is on table on B on A, so B is on A, on C B, so C is on block B. So, that is our initial states. So, we are just pressing enter and now we have made our problem simple in this way. Now, we know that within the code we have written our respective facts. That means, I require A will be on B in the final state, B will be on C and C will be on table. So, to reach to the final state, to reach to the respective goals, so what are the internal moves I required? I want to list them here. So, I am going for listing, I am going for listing on, 
and also I'm going for listing move also I could have written them in this way okay so I've got my points so listing on and listing move so let us put put one comma here that will be better for us I'm making this one and okay so we are getting this output so initially C will be on B B will be on A and A will be on table okay now I require to have the formats like this one the blocks will be placed like this one so what are the moves I require C will be moved to the table top of the table on the table from the top of B so that is the first step B will be moved on to on to C the B will be moved on to C and then A from the top of A and the last one A will be put on B from the top of the table so they are telling that C will be moved on the top of the table from the top of B B will be moved on the top of C from the top of A and A will be moved on the top of B from the top of the table so these are the steps required for its uh, having the final arrangement so let me explain my code one by one so these are the facts given and now we are going for this put on we are going for this put on so a can be put on b if a is not a table because table cannot be moved in that way and a is not equal to b let us suppose a is on x then a must be clear its top must be clear this particular predicate we have defined later and b top is clear retract a on x so retract on ax means we are just discarding this respective uh, clause from our clause list in the prolog database and assert on ab so this respective clause is getting added in the clause database of the prolog and assert move a x b so a has been moved from the top of x on the top of b so in this way this put on ab has been written so clear table is a is a known fact here so clear b means not on anonymous variable b so nothing will be on the top of b so here it is denoting the not so action put on a will be on b if if a is already on b action put on a will be on b if a is not on b a is not a table a is not equal to b the top of a is clear top of b is clear on ax so a is on x retract on ax so this particular clause is getting deleted assert a on ax a b so that means this particular clause is getting added and this one is assert a move a x b so in this way we have defined this action put on let me discuss the other so this is our clear so clear of a means nothing is on top of a so here this symbol denotes not Clear of A means A is not equal to table on X A clear of X. So X is having nothing on the top. Retract on X A, assert on X table and assert move A A X A table. So that means the clear of A means it's already clear and now otherwise it has been put on the just now it has been put on the table. So its top is clear in that case do give list so that is the gold list we are having so do give list means that is the list which will be given that is the gold list actually do all gold list gold list so what is do all predicate so we have explained this one here so do all so what about the what about the predicates what about the list you are giving i'm taking the head part on g and the tail part in r and these are the all goals we require to be done so call g means you are calling that respective goal so when you are calling that respective goal to get executed so needful steps are to be taken do all r for the remaining tail part i shall be going for recursive call of do all predicate and which will produce the all goals accordingly so in this way we have written this do all predicate here so achieve on ab means action put on ab so a can be put on b if the action put on ab is returning true so in this way we have written the code 
and also I have shown you that how the code is getting executed and how the respective moves the prolog program is suggesting. Thanks for watching this video.